I am Jeffrey Kluger, author of Apollo 8 and editor-at-large at Time Magazine. I'm John Sterling, the editor of Apollo 8. People have always been interested in the story of Apollo, but it seems that maybe there'll be even more interest now in the Apollo program because there's so much conversation about traveling to Mars. And the Trump administration seems to want to talk about getting to Mars um, soon, not uh, late. And I just wonder, what's your, what's your sense for, for, you know, looking backwards and looking forward? Uh, what's your sense for what lies ahead for NASA, what lies ahead for the United States and, yeah. um, and space program? I actually do think, even before the Trump administration, uh, events such interest in moving moving forward in space. I think we are approaching a certain hinge point in human space travel. Uh, it is partly because private industry is so heavily involved now, SpaceX, Boeing, United Launch Alliance, Orbital Sciences, all of these groups are coming together and all of them are making a lot of noise about saying, well, if the government isn't going to Mars, we're gonna go to Mars. Um, at the same time, the government is saying, hold on, we do plan to go to Mars. NASA is building a giant booster called the Space Launch System, a very prosaic name. They're probably going to come up with something more fun in the future. Um, it's the biggest rocket since the Saturn V. They're building uh, an Orion spacecraft, like a souped-up uh, Apollo on steroids. Um, this is all for deep space exploration. At the same time, a handful of people, including the Trump administration, are talking about returning to the moon as a preliminary step. Returning to the moon could be done relatively relatively easily. Within a couple of years, we could be back at least orbiting the moon and not long after that on the surface of the moon. This isn't just a way of killing time and keeping people appeased till we can get to Mars. If we plan to live on Mars, we need to learn long-term homesteading. And much better to learn long-term homesteading on a world that's only a quarter of a million miles away with a three-day transit back than it is to practice it for the first time on a world that's 138 million miles away with an eight-month transit back. So I wouldn't be at all surprised if we get assets back on the moon, if we try staying there for a month, for two months, practice camping out, and then use all of that to build our assets out to Mars. That seems to me to be a sensible time horizon. A few years from now on the moon, 15 years from now on Mars, and I think public interest, public aptitude, and private funding and private energy are all coming together to make this happen.